Jennifer Winge, thank you so much for being a part of this conversation. I cheers you with my cup of coffee, considering we are doing this early in the morning. Both I need know. this <laughs> to wake up and smell the coffee. How there was no, How there was no other way we could do this without the coffee. There was no way. <laughs> But tell me, how is it going? It's going great. I mean, uh, beginning the day with uh, finally we are, you know, starting promoting Podem, and it's a fantastic feeling. I've been away for a while, and then just to come back with this, this with a bang, with this show, it just feels I'm ecstatic, overwhelmed, and the response has been amazing. So, fingers crossed. And like your character says, very rightly so in the trailer that I just saw. Uh, glad to be back. So you are definitely glad to be back. Oh, like yes, just, every like, word in that trailer is true. Every single <laughs> word. <laughs> But considering this was your OTT debut, was so well received, so so mm-hmm. well received. But people continue to ask this question: Why did they shift from the Jennifer to the OTT platform? Yeah, they didn't shift. I was. I mean, when I shot for Kodam season one, I was busy. With Behar too that time, so uh, TV kept me busy a lot because you know how TV works. We have, you know, the our schedules are very very erratic and crazy, and so it's not that they lagged me. I was also waiting for something. Um, I've been fortunate enough to play characters on TV that are different and you know uh, not your typical TV characters. So I was also waiting for something that was better than what I'd already done. and that will always be my quest whether uh be it tv or films or ott i just want to keep getting better and better at my art so till the time i don't get something like that i'm a very patient girl i'll wait mm-hmm. so how is it this time is monica more menacing in season 2 like you can give give us a little sliver ki kya expect us okay what can we expect so basically this season has more uh, we dwell into her past a lot and uh, obviously i mean there is a mission that she needs to uh, to solve and all of that that is there but this time we also get to see a side of monica that has been haunting her since her childhood so so this season involves a lot of emotions and it's a lot more intense and if i may say so she is if it's possible she's even more badass this time <laughs> okay Well, well, your fans would love to see that. Now, uh, you know, when you started the interview, you said that uh, all the things that I've said in the trailer are completely true and true to your personality. One thing that you say is "yakin karna" मेरे job profile में नहीं है. How are you saying that line? I mean, if I say so myself. <laughs> you know, sir, tell me, are you are you trusting as a person, or you you take time to actually open up to people? You know, the thing is, I. Uh, I am I am a trusting person I am I'm not a naive person but I am uh, a, a a trusting person because the people that I have around me I am very very uh, I'm very very picky about who I let around me right I don't have a lot of a lot of friends I do have friends but not many but the few that I have have been friends with me since we were children you know or we've worked together since so long so obviously when those kind of relationships the trust factor is more but um I let let's just say that I'm a little cautious but okay. I I I trust yeah I trust people okay. sometimes okay <laughs> All right. Since you're wearing white, I just got a uh, little distracted. I was thinking about this beautiful pictures from your birthday party and all white Aww. theme. It was very, very aesthetic. How was the birthday? And related to that, it was amazing. I mean, uh, honestly, big, big uh, shout out to my friends who made this happen for me. Uh, they, I honestly, they were planning this for like a month behind my back. and yeah. i don't know how they managed to keep it from me but uh, there was one month's preparation that went into it and when i saw it i literally had tears in my eyes i'm like guys it's not like i'm turning 40 but <laughs> you know <laughs> now when i turn 40 you have the benchmark has to go higher it was amazing it was a very chilled out scene with a couple of my close friends and we went to alibag and stayed at this beautiful property it was done up so well so all credit goes to my friends who took this upon them to make my birthday so so special for me really Yeah, it was very, very beautiful. And uh, one thing that I noticed from your Instagram feed—sorry to digress a little—but have to talk about social media. Are your captions 
they are spot on i really like the way you put your points like spot on captions ye aapke dimag ke upar hai ya somebody is helping you do that <laughs> no i mean i so i mean for me social media right where i initially where i was a little hesitant to join social media to be honest okay because i think i joined social media in 2000 um 2013 or 14 i don't remember correctly and i was very hesitant i'm like no yeah you know i'm a private person i i don't know if i can do this you know and that time social media was not what it is today it was yeah. still you know to have fun way then this and that so when i got into it the kind of feedback that i got from people just encouraged me to to get better at captions also to get better <laughs> at posting pictures although if you if you see I, I'm, i'm not the kind of person who posts every day only when i feel something or when there is a need to to speak about certain things will i will i come on social media and you know speak about that but yeah i mean it comes from the heart um but recently what has happened is that earlier i used to like honestly write anything post anything but now i give it a thought because yeah. everybody has an opinion on everything these days right oh, so you yeah. just have to be a little um just a little aware of of what you're speaking because there are so many people who who just get caught up on say one word or one sentence oh, yeah. and also at the same time it also encourages people to there are so many people who look up to you right for inspiration for whatever whatever so now gradually i just give it a lot of thought like to write one caption it takes me sometimes two days i'm not kidding <laughs> <laughs> and and google also helps a little bit so let's just i give google half the credit and then i kind of make it my own and you know yeah you you, you receive all the love obviously 12 million and and counting uh you receive your love your share of love on social media but is there hate also like you just mentioned people have uh, you know got very angsty yeah. they get rattled a lot it's just like surprisingly a no surprisingly i haven't i mean i really consider myself so so fortunate and blessed that even if i say something which is not liked by people or post a picture which is not liked by people there is a way they say it to me you know they will not say uh, whatever whatever there is a way and and that is i respect that a lot i mean not everything i do has to be liked by everyone and and vice versa but uh, fortunately for me if there is something that they don't agree with there is they'll put it very politely and very nicely i'm like okay no problem you know i get it i respect your opinion and 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 we move on from there so then i mean yeah i've been fortunate like that thankfully <laughs> that's beautiful that's beautiful all right coming back to codem uh you know working with uh, tanuj how was it this time around this season it was uh, great it was great in season 1 yeah. it was great now just also i think this time when we shot codem we all were just kind of getting out of a of i don't know which lockdown and just to be back on set and just to be with the crew and uh, tanu and everybody just to be in that energy was just so delightful and luckily tanu jan get along uh, i get along like a house on fire so uh, it was it was great fun yeah every time he's on set we're all laughing and chilling and just laughing <laughs> why laughing is he the one to crack jokes <laughs> oh my god he cracks the lamest jokes like ever and sometimes good ones also but uh, yeah i'm just laughing around him all the time <laughs> <laughs> okay okay there's a very interesting rap song that the trailer uh, you know introduces your People character that's very, very cool, cool. Yeah. Nee, I'm not as you know. That's very cool. I mean, that's a very nice way of yeah. presenting, yeah. Uh, you know, Monica back in action. So how was that? How was that? It was uh, great. Uh, I mean, the music is fabulous. Even in uh, even season one had great music. Uh, the title track was be- uh, amazing. Even the romantic track was amazing. Uh, and uh, I think in season two we've just taken it up a notch. uh be it the music be it the cinematography be it the direction be it the look of the show i think we have and that was my biggest concern that season 2 has to be in every way better than season 1 and uh basis the feedback that i have received just from the trailer we seem to have accomplished that mission 
Mm-hmm. Your action sequences was something that we talked about in the last season. Also, right. obviously, this one will be no different. Uh, your own personal training, well, uh, behind the scenes, what was it like? Uh, do you, do you, how many hours did you put in? It's so <laughs> it is so weird. So before starting uh, Codem, right? We had to. Yeah. I had to get into a bit of training and everything, and um, uh, we were just. We were not even out of COVID yet. We were just kind of. you know figuring what the world is at that moment and i remember we had to start shooting say 3 days after and um, and i had been very careful this whole covid situation i was at home behaving myself and everything and just 2 days before i had to go for a for a for a kickboxing uh, training sequence right and i went to the studio and i did my training and everything for like 5 6 hours and uh, we had to do a covid test before uh, before going to the set i did my covid test and we're shooting the next day now mm-hmm. and my covid test comes positive the night before i have to shoot and oh, wow. i was like you know i've been so careful but one day i go for my training in a studio and this stupid freaking virus gets me and then i have to wait for 14 days to obviously to to start shooting i got covid the previous day of my shoot and then i got 14 extra days to to work on myself that's how i took it i although i was distraught when i got to know that i have covid and i can't shoot because i was waiting to get back to work and get back uh, to shoot and everything So I mean I was literally uh uh working out at home I had to do everything at home because I couldn't step out so 2 hours in the morning 2 hours in the evening I was working out like a crazy person because and I mean when you look, look back at it it just gave me more time to work on myself and get fitter and better before I could start the shoot so this time most of my training was at home is what I'm going to say once I went out and I got covid so I did everything at home But that's cool. That's cool. All right. Um. Uh, uh. Before I slip into this little segment, uh, before the end of the bull, uh, the the interview. I'm sorry. I'm so used to saying bulletin with my news bulletins that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have this little question, obviously, about uh, your love for horse riding. How is that going? Uh. You know. Uh, how much time have you been able to devote in that? I mean, I. So my whole family has been into horse riding since we were kids. Like my dad rides, and my brother and my nephew, we love horses, and they've been taking us uh, to. You know, as children, we used to always go to Mathiran for our summer vacations. To that was like the place for us, you know. So we had this innate love for horses in our family, and just I think just a few months back, another friend of mine, she. you know told me about this place in bivandi and she's like why don't you come i'm like i would love to you know and we started going there and it just kind of became like a every weekend thing just go there in the morning and just to be uh surrounded by these beautiful creatures just i had i had not uh, you know i'd been away from this for many many years due to work and everything but now that i had the time and i got the opportunity also it just a great feeling so we try and go there every weekend because it's a little um on the outskirts of bombay so it's not very mm-hmm. convenient and you know accessible but it's great fun yeah i try and do it every weekend although now because of the summers it's a little yeah difficult and it gets very hot in the morning so uh the last two weeks i haven't been going but i try and make the try and go there every weekend Okay, all right. So this brings me to the segment that I like to call "sip and spill." I want you to spill some beans. Utna zada nahi, but just something. If these things have happened in your life, you just take your sip from your coffee and tell me the choti si kahani behind it. That's all it is to it. Oh, okay. 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 All right. How your video is stable? All right. Okay. Take a sip if you have painted something very, very recently. Very. Hmm. But I have. I mean, I think during the lockdown, we all had become painters and <laughs> artists, and you know. So I tried my hand at that, and I mean, I really got um, interested in pour painting, and because it's the easiest thing to do, you just have to mix the paints and just pour your heart out on the canvas, and that's exactly what I was doing. So I made about fifteen paintings. Ah, uh, till my. Do house- you were doing it for the first time because you were a pro. Dude, there was nothing else to do during that time. 
I was going mental sitting at home. So I, my house was literally had become like a studio, and my help was like, "Didi, abhi bus ho gaya na." It was fun. It was fun. So I've taken all those paintings and I put it in my Goa house. So uh, yeah, I mean, something came out of it, and it was it was it was really fun. But it's been some time now that I've not gotten back to it because life has taken over. So <laughs> okay, you started acting. Since you were what twelve, I think. Yeah. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, how many auditions have you given? Uh, would you remember auditions? In oh your life? gosh, I have. I think till about I made it in TV, which was about seventeen to seventeen or eighteen. Eighteen is when I started with Balaji. Till then, I must have given like I don't even remember the number of auditions I've given. I used to. Finish. Sometimes I used to finish school. My dad used to come pick me up, and uh, then we used to go for auditions together. And there, there have been so many. And that time, you know, I used to hate going for auditions because I used to hate putting on makeup. I used to hate yeah, it. But then I think slowly and steadily, I started enjoying the process. And once television started, there was no time for auditions. It was just go from one show to the other to the other. You know, and that time yeah. that's what television was. So. Ah, uh, there have been too many to to count down yeah. to, and I still so I still go for auditions yeah. actually. If I have to, oh. if you know, if there is a need to audition for a certain role or a- any project, I I I do go even now. Okay, so I'm sure you would remember this one thing, despite the number of auditions okay. that you've been to, one funny audition, really funny audition that you can't forget, or a really bad one. You had a really nasty audition experience. Take us if if you if you remember that. A funny one or a ba- I mean anything I funny or bad when uh, I was auditioning for Kuch Na Kaho, huh. uh, and uh, and I used to get very nervous before aud- I still do actually uh, I, I I really I still get very nervous before auditioning and that time I was all of fourteen. And uh, I, when, you know, I'm going to audition for Rohan Sippy's film, and Ashwarya yeah. is in it, and Abhishek is in it, and oh my God, I was anyway like, you know, overwhelmed with all of that. And I just had, I mean, I won't call it a funny incident or whatever, but this is what I remember. But I had this one thing in my head that, you know what, Jen, you just have to copy Kajol. I don't know why that was stuck in my head, and I'm like, you have to do exactly what Kajol does. And if you huh. still don't get the movie, then you should then you know just leave everything and come back to what you're doing. So that was in my head that I'm like I have to copy Kajol. I have to copy Kajol is what my uh, uh, point of reference was. And so I gave the audition. Ex- I mean, in my head, I'm thinking I did exactly what Kajol would do. I have copied her very well because I got the film. Okay, so like, okay, this is how what this is how I'm going to audition for the next few years or months or whatever. Because when I do this, I get the project. So that has worked for me. <laughs> That's really cool. All right, uh, going back to let's say your school days. Take a sip if you've had someone who was uh, sort of an admirer and uh, ended up making a fool of himself. Trying to woo you, or was oh, it the other way around? <laughs> oh, okay, I will take a sip, but this is a very sweet story. Yeah. So I was. <laughs> so, uh, so I think I was in the seventh stand, seventh stand, sixth, no, seventh standard, mm-hmm. and uh, and this 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 very very cute, lovely boy liked me, and I liked him back, and but I was a. Fatu, and so was he. So we never like we our relationship lasted for like a year on and off, whatever. Okay, but in that time we never spoke to each other. We used to only write letters to each other. Oh, sweet! <laughs> His best friend would pass the letter on to my best friend, and my best friend would give the letter to his best friend, and that's how we used to converse. Or maybe on one sports day we would have spoken, or one Valentine's day would have we would have spoken about what's happening in your life and this. Otherwise, we used to only converse to through letters. I think that's the sweetest thing that has ever happened in my life. So cute. So yeah, next one, I'll come. I can't ask you anything because I was going to ask you take a sip if you've ever written a love letter. But it seems that yeah. you've written a lot of them. That's how my love story started. My first love story. <laughs> that's really nice. Okay, last one. Take a sip. If Jennifer Winget. Cannot wink for her life. Oh Can you God. wink? 
<laughs> I mean, I have to be very conscious of it. Like, I can't just like, like if you tell me that you have to win, then I can't. But like, okay. I don't know. Is that a win? Did I win? <laughs> yeah. But you don't know. <laughs> and what's the other right? The other right. No, that's not going to happen. जो भी है यही होता है इससे पता नहीं है नहीं है जो भी होता है ऐसे होता है इट्स रियली कूल जेनिफर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस कॉल थैंक यू सो मच इट वाज लवली टॉकिंग टू यू हैविंग कॉफी विद यू यस टेक केयर चेल्स चेल्स थैंक्स ऑल द बेस्ट बाय बाय